Hey guys, it's Dominic UK, and today we're going to do some Black Ops 3 on the PC. In this gameplay, I'm going to be using the VMP, and we're on the map. Oh, I can't remember the name of the map. What is the map? Oh, it doesn't matter. For once, we're just going to roll with it. Uh, but it's not really about the class or the map as such or the gameplay. It's more about just the, the specialist character today. And you can sit back and, and watch the gameplay, obviously, see how he works in the multiplayer universe. Maybe you haven't earned your challenges to unlock him yet. Uh, but I have to say, I'm a little bit gutted that you can only get to use him for 60 minutes, an hour a week. And I, I think that's really... You know, a real piss take to be honest with you. We were looking forward to a new specialist, we finally get one, uh, but you only get it for 60 minutes. And then on top of that, you're only using, you know, weapons or abilities that you've had access to for the whole time. I was really hoping for a new weapon or a new ability to be added to the game. I know we found out a little while ago this was likely going to be the specialist that we've got now. Uh, a few months ago, it came out that in leaks and stuff, it was going to be Blackjack and it was going to steal abilities and, and weapons and stuff. And I was sort of a little bit disappointed disappointed to be honest with you because I want more content in the game I don't want the content that we've got just recycled and rehashed admittedly you do pick up stuff that maybe you don't use all the time uh, like the hives and stuff like that if you use this um, character you know tactically you can really screw over the enemy team uh, but I do find that when I'm running this uh, character I don't get my score streaks as as much as I usually would or I don't really get great games uh, this is one of the better games and you'll see at the end of the score on the the scoreboard but generally my scores were you know below average for me uh, on that front purely because I weren't getting my score streaks to to bump up my score on the scoreboard at the end of the game but I found myself just hunting players that could really change the game so we would win. And I suppose it's a good thing because it's all about the win at the end of the day. Uh, playing Call of Duty and stuff like that. You don't play to lose. So what I was doing is I was hunting the people with, you know, high priority in terms of have they got a purifier? Have they got the war machine? Have they got ruins, gravity spikes? And I would purposely hunt those sort of players. And something I really like about it as well is because it's like a, a normal specialist in terms of it doesn't matter if you die a hundred times, you're going to earn it if you get a kill at least because it takes five kills to get it. It doesn't matter if you die, it doesn't reset. I think that's awesome. Uh, but I think that's really cool and I don't think a lot of people really realise yet is once you've actually got your five kills and say my fifth kill was on a purifier and I've stolen his purifier, if I die or kill someone else after the fact, I will steal their item and I get to choose which one it will be. So that's really, really cool and you can really sort of have a game changer moment there. Like I can remember one game in particular where I had stolen someone else's hive and then I was running around and I heard enemy Cerberus coming in and I purposely hunted down battery to steal the war machine because I know the war machine was used, I died to it previously and I flipped it for the war machine, found the Cerberus fired off the war machine got rid of it and that was a game changer that really helped us out because that thing was mowing people down on B and uh, a lot of people sort of lost their lives running down to the flag trying to cap it back so yeah it can be used uh, really tactically and if you understand how to use it I think you're gonna have a lot of wins but it's just a shame that you don't really get to use it for more than an hour a week and I don't think a lot of people are gonna be happy with this let me know down below how do you feel about it do you even play the game enough to unlock it via the weekly challenges uh, at the moment I think it was 20 wins and 50,000 score I unlocked that pretty quickly because I just play this game on the regular but for someone that maybe doesn't have that much time to invest into this game how do you feel is that enough time uh, to to grind out and then is it enough time of a reward to to play it because it took way longer than an hour to unlock the uh, weekly challenges to get blackjack it took more than an hour to get the 20 wins and then I have only a limited time to get it. I think the time it takes to unlock Blackjack should be equal to the time that you have in the week to use it. Uh, and that's just my, my thought on it. Let me know down below if you're happy with it. So we had E3 and we've seen the Infinite Warfare gameplay and I didn't do a video talking about it because I felt like everyone else was going to do a video on it and they did. But I have to say, I'm not really feeling anything towards Infinite Warfare. I didn't really get a feel for the game. It doesn't feel like Call of Duty, but I don't really hate it. I'm just sort of, you know, meh at the moment. I don't feel any sort of negativity towards the game or any excitement. And it's the same with the remaster, to be honest. They didn't really show much of the COD 4 remaster other than just, you know, uh, in-game sort of over-the-shoulder three, uh, third-person, sorry, uh, gameplay and it doesn't really represent how it feels 
in game when you're actually playing obviously they've done that with infinite warfare they just don't do it with the remaster obviously if you're on the ps4 you're going to have a month early access to the campaign i think it's complete bullshit obviously you guys on the ps4 are extremely lucky but i just think it's complete bullshit and it's not very consumer friendly for us guys that are on different platforms you know we're all into call of duty we should all be given a fair chance to play the game obviously it's just a campaign we've all probably played the campaign but you know playing cod 4 remastered the, the campaign i think it's going to be absolutely fantastic i think it's going to look amazing and i just can't wait to to get my hands on it but i have to say after seeing the infinite warfare stuff i'm just not really feeling anything for the game obviously hopefully it will change when the the game actually comes out i don't know how i'm going to feel towards it if it plays like black ops 3 to be honest with you i will probably play it because i really enjoy black ops 3 and its movement that it's got at the moment it's a lot better than the advanced warfare system but also i think it really does add to call of duty it makes it a bit more fast paced and you can get around the map a lot easier if you go back and play the older call of duty it can be a bit slow and a bit weird to to get used to that so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to rate and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one later